Oh, they aren't toys anymore. Drones are now taking part in nearly every facet of life. Yeah, from uh, delivering packages to now saving lives. Unmanned aircraft will soon help clear accident seams, keep SWAT members out of harm's way, and even deliver water to stranded hikers. Yeah, Cameron Polum gives us a glimpse of how drones will soon play a crucial role in public safety. His story only on ABC 15. Uh, I think this is the future of public safety. Salt River Police Lieutenant Anthony Sandoval says his department is constantly exploring different ideas on how to incorporate drones into their daily lives. When I first started doing crash investigations, we would shut down roads. They could take up to eight to ten hours. He says crash measurements and imaging from a drone allows that time to be cut significantly, eliminating major traffic jams. We could probably reduce that to you know, 15 to 30 minutes. He's just one of a half dozen law enforcement agencies making their way through displays at the Arizona UAS Summit Tuesday. And, and there are many, many industries that want to utilize this technology. Brian Wynn says that's why it's important to get those folks in the same room with the creators of the technology. Typically these drones, you can launch them in a few minutes. Jason McNally with AUV says one day search and rescue teams will scrap a single helicopter for 30 to 60 drones covering more ground in a fraction of the time. In the end, saving more lives. The drone swarms are a real thing. I, um, I had the pleasure of working on some programs uh, where you, you're controlling 30 plus drones. And training who will fly them is happening in the valley too. So the instructor can uh, set various uh, weather conditions, malfunctions. Local company Simlat says their simulators will highlight a class at Arizona State next year, giving students the hands-on training they need to fill the jobs of the future. There's no question that un 